How you guys doing today? It's Anthony Ganji. Welcome to another episode of On the Line. Guys, I want to talk about expectation versus rules. I mean, granted, in corrections, as officers, we are going to be getting inmates to comply. That's our job. That's what we're paid to do. Having said that, we could spend all day just reinforcing the rules and reminding inmates of our position of authority. Or if time permits and it's not emergent, we can work on our communication skills and hopefully bring about the want for compliance from within the inmate. And that's where expectation comes in play. So again, you have expectation versus that final level of enforcing the rules. Now, granted, again, we will get compliance, but sometimes I feel the long lasting side of getting compliance comes from communicating expectations as opposed to always something outward driven, like enforcing the rules. And guys, just as much as we expect behaviors from the inmates, they also expect certain levels of behavior from us. I want to share a story and where I realized the difference between expectation versus just plainly enforcing the rules, being very position driven. So again, this story goes back about 18 years. You know, so I was pretty young in my career. I got about 20 years in now. So I was pretty young in my career. And I remember there was a female inmate who had just came out of the receiving area reception and she had went to general population. And right when she went to general population, she had gotten to a brawl with three other inmates. Actually, she took all three out, which was quite impressive. I remember running to the code, putting the handcuffs on the, the young lady and then bringing her over to medical for an evaluation and then eventually over to our pre-hearing detention uh, unit uh, so she can have her case heard and then the outcome delivered. That night, as I was doing my rounds in that area, I overheard a female crying in the cell. I went over to the cell. It was the same inmate. And I remember giving her this advice. I remember telling her to listen to the voice inside. That's what's getting her to be upset. Because that voice inside, the voice that's making her cry, making her feel uncomfortable where she's at, is a voice that's telling her she's better than this. And if she didn't have that voice, then she would wind up settling for this, the end result of constantly getting in trouble. Now, the inmate was shipped out. Eventually, she came back a few months later, and she caught up with me at the end of a mess movement. And she said, Mr. Ganji? And I said, yes. And she talked about the dialogue that we had and how it meant so much to her, however quick that dialogue was. And she said this, she said, no one has ever really given me a high level of expectation for me to meet. Usually they would give me advice to do things that weren't so correct. But you reminded me of some level of potential and I'm gonna do whatever I can to meet that potential. So you see the, expect, the expectation was inward driven. It's not more like enforcing the rules and applying pressure from something external. This is more of her want to do something good. So it's cultivating versus transformation. Cultivating is taking something good and working with it. So again, finding something good, that positive expectation, that potential that I thought she would have or could have versus me just applying the pressure and looking to transform an individual uh, by using that external pressure to change somebody. Anyway, we would go back and forth once in a while. There would be moments where you would fall, where she would fall back. Mind you guys, in corrections, there's always going to be some counter influence to something positive. But you could see the struggle and you could see her making the effort. Regardless of the outcome, you could see her making the effort. And by the way, she's been long gone out of the system. She never came back. But I felt that if I ever wanted to gain compliance on a more longer term and work on my communication skills, I would try to give the inmates a level of expectation first to see if that would work. See if I can find some potential and work from there. Now, granted, if that doesn't work, not a problem. I can always fall back to my position of authority and reinforce those rules. But in the meantime, I found out throughout my career that providing levels of expectation didn't just get me compliance in the moment, but it got compliance for me on a longer term. 
And again, it was inward, which means the inmate wanted to reach that level. But it really started with communication and some level of respect that we had for each other. As always, guys, the show is on the line. If you haven't, please subscribe, and, uh, interact, engage, comment, hit that bell. That bell is going to notify you every time I post up a video here on, on the line. And guys, Guardian RFID has got a lot of great content. So please, outside of mine, check out the page. Check out the other content that people post because there's a lot of good information here if you're working in the correction system. As always, guys, stay safe.